Hello and thanks very much for joining me again. This video is going to be about um, a bottle stopper. Now I've looked at bottle stoppers before but I just thought because we've had um, this design of bottle stopper just delivered to us that we would um, do something um, uh, slightly different to we've done before. Now uh, if you've seen or had any of our bottle stoppers you will know that they come with a wood insert screw which is this part here. This screws into um, directly into your wooden blank um, and uh, there's an 8mm hex key fitting in the top of there to screw them in once you've drilled your hole or whatever. These however don't go into um, acrylics or plastic anything like that. Um, they're designed to cut into the, uh, the wooden parts and wood obviously gives acrylics and stuff like that don't give so if you try and put one of these in acrylics it will just simply crack and just break it open um, and that's why we have the two separate parts the wood insert screw and then we have the 25 millimeter thread which also has um, unlike anyone else's I think on the market a, a four millimeter hex key fitting in the end so you can unscrew that so what I'm going to do today is look at um, another stopper but this time I'm going to use um, Corian it's applicable for Corian or acrylic, anything like that type of material. And I've got some Corian here. It comes in 12 millimeter thick slabs, so it has to be stuck together. So I've glued these together with um, super glue, a cyanoacrylate, um, if you want to be precise about it. Um, and I'm going to show you how I tap a thread in one of these uh, and then mount it on the lathe, turn it and finish it off. Uh, I'm not quite sure whether the colours are going to go on this and exactly what, what um, the shape and things are going to look like when it's done, but we'll find out when it's popped on the lathe. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually cut this block that I've made square in half um, that way. Um, and then we'll look at putting it on the lathe and cutting a thread into this piece so it will thread directly onto the 25 millimeter machine thread. So I'm going to say at this point that I'm not an engineer I'm just going to talk to you briefly about um, tapping a thread. If we were cutting metal uh, and as I say I don't profess to be an engineer you would use a full tapping set like this and I'm not sure if the camera will quite pick up on the fact that the threads the cutters get slightly wider as they go on. That's because obviously cutting metal is pretty hard. We're not cutting metal, we're cutting a, a bit of um, Corian here, which is effectively plastic. So the only one I'm gonna use, and the only one that we actually sell, is the final tap. Um, equally, um, a, a practiced engineer will probably tell you that the correct drill size is 6.8 millimeters. I, have, I don't have a 6.8 millimeter drill. I'm going to use a seven millimeter drill. Most people have got seven millimeter drills. This isn't fine engineering we're talking about down to thousandths of an inch. This is fitting a bottle stopper um, handle on the top here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm starting off with a center finder. I'm just gonna find the center of this bit here. Then I'm gonna drill my seven millimeter hole and then you'll see me tap using the final uh, eight millimeter tap here to cut the thread um, inside the bottle stopper before we mount it for turning. The next thing we need to do is make sure we drill the hole the correct length for the thread that is sticking out of the bottle stopper. All bottle stoppers are different designs so they tend to stick out different amounts. Um, so I'm just going to measure this and make sure that we fit in or if I go a finger length in there, there'd be plenty. Um, that's probably all I'm going to use to, to measure it. Um, but finger width in there should be fine.
finally what I'm going to do is actually if I move the tail stuck up slightly or even better than that I'll zoom out slightly hopefully you can see a bit better I'm actually going to mount my thread cutter in the Jacobs chuck now you, you don't have to do it this way um, if you prefer you can use a manual tab um, which looks bear with me because it's the other side of the workshop you can use something like this um, to put your tap in and just twist it in manually if you, if you prefer to do that. I am not, I'm going to stress now, going to run the motor to tap this. What I'm going to do is just bring the tail stock up and pop that in there. Don't lock it off because by turning this what's going to happen is you're actually going to draw the tail stock up and I'm just going to turn You do have to make sure that everything is tight. So let's give the Moore's taper a good wallop in there. Make sure it's really tightened up in there tight um, if I was trying to do metal I'd probably find that it'd be so difficult so hard to cut that it would probably spin this which is why you'd use a, a manual one but for the purposes of us doing this I'm just very gradually turning that in and you can go backwards and forwards with this if you want to if you want to clear some of the swarf out and it will pull the tail stock in and out like so. I'm just going to hold it just to make sure it doesn't start spinning because it does get relatively tight in there. Sure if we've gone in far enough or not I think we might have to go in a little further yet but this will go in and out several times until you've got the thread the correct length into your piece and each time you do it it gets a little bit easier certain that's probably far enough <laughs> and hopefully if I move, let's try zooming the camera in, hopefully you can see the thread in there and if I get the thread from the actual stopper itself, you will find that that screws in there perfectly and I can screw the other end of the stopper on there if I want to do and that's how we're going to mount it in a minute but round the other way so you can see that going on there like so I'm not going to put it in too tight um, but if it does go in very tight that is why it's got the um, the M4 thread there so we can tighten that in a little bit further if we want to or oh, untighten it like so so there's a reason for all these things being there now the next thing I'm going to do because I've um, 
got a hole in there now I'm just going to trim this bit of the blank round and I'm also just going to level off this while it's this way round before we mount it on the mandrel So I'm just measuring the diameter of the stopper, a little bit smaller. That'll be about right, um, so I can use that. If you don't have a set of these, you can always make your own, um, just with two bits of wood and a bolt through the middle. So we've done a little bit of polishing, so there's our um, top that you've just seen me polish up. I'm now going to take the machine thread and pop that in there. You're more likely to find that the machine thread is a much better fit on the thread you've cut than it is on the bottle stopper. Don't ask me why that is the case, but generally it is. But you've got the hex key thread there to tighten that up if you need to. Um, and then we can take the bottle stopper and pop that on there like so and with the fittings we supply with these um, it is an advantage we certainly believe over other fittings that come like this this is a wood screw you also can't screw that into um, acrylics or plastics either because they'll break so you'll have to glue that in um, to your blank uh, and then turn it um, it's just well we've, we obviously think as is a little bit better um, so here we have the um, uh, one of our new stoppers. Is it a bullet? Is it a rocket? I'll let you decide that one. Um, it is quite a long kit, this one. So 73 millimetres long, I think, off the top of my head, this one. Um, so you don't need too big a, um, a handle on the top. But it makes quite a, a, an impressive um, finished kit. So we hope you'll have a, a look around the site. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. When I have the time, I'm always happy to help. Uh, until next time, enjoy whatever it is you do in your workshop and of course do it safely. Take care. Bye bye for now.